Well, I haven't made a video in a while because I uh, haven't had a whole lot going on. I, I got, I'm waiting on that cab yet. I'm supposed to see it here in a few days. And then I hope to get some really good videos going with the American Auto Wire install, the Dakota Digital Gauges, finish the rest of the Vintage AC. Uh, we're going to get the truck back together. We'll finish the low car shifter up. We'll get the linkage connected. And I think I'm going to go about installing every piece of hardware, the, the, the vintage AC, the condenser, I'm going to put the front clip on. I'm going to have everything physically in there before I run any wiring. And I hope that'll help me route it a little bit cleaner. I know it might be a bigger pain in the butt doing it with more stuff in the way, but, uh, I don't care. I'm willing to put it, put in the effort for kind of a clean install. I want to hide as much as I can. Not going to set the bed on until I get everything uh, wired up here and get some fuel in it, make sure I don't have any leaks. These are so short, I'm unable to do it. I don't want to splice and then splice again out over here. Um, the 4L65E is just converted to two wheel drive. Everything's looking good there. I got some short plugs coming. I'm gonna have to get those headers off and put in some XL, or uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go with the NGK plugs and uh, I think I got the hoses figured out. I'll have to cut this one here. It seems to route okay, roughly, but I need to get the fenders on cab set and everything else before I can get that going. In the meantime, I scored this gem. This is gonna go on the back of my 63 when it's all done. Well, when it's running and driving, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebuild this frame. It's double plated two by four here. There's a two by eight that looks like up there or six, maybe that's notched out. But I mean, it's, it, it seems to be pretty square, pretty solid. But the only reason I bought this entire mess was for this, uh, was for this camper. And I'm gonna rebuild the entire frame. And I think I'm gonna do it out of Lighter gauge steel, possibly, maybe some aluminum. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna get the paneling off of it and look at how bad it really is and go from there. But yeah, I got the whole truck. And so I cut it up and I'm not finished here yet. Just kind of getting mocked up, center line marked and getting some stuff figured out. What's what, save that front end. It's got disc brakes. Power steering box is good. Steering shaft, that'll be good for another conversion. And spare no mercy for this thing either. Load it up. We're gonna go to the scrap yard. Maybe get six bucks for it, but it don't need to set around. That's got a built 6.0, built transmission, 4L80E. Bought the truck with 200,000 miles on it and a shot transmission and took the trans into the shop took the uh pickup to a good friend of mine who tuned this pickup which has a 6.0 4 lede in it out of an 01 it's a monster he'll also be tuning the 63 when it's done and the same guy that built the transmission in this truck swapped that transmission to two-wheel drive he's out of santa fe and the guy that does all my tuning is out of albuquerque and they do amazing work. But anyway, I just wanted to throw a video out and try to get warmed up again, uh, work up some courage to bring you some more videos with those bigger installs. So hope to get those videos out soon. Till then we'll keep cutting stuff up and making videos.